Welcome to Chatterbox Audio Theater. Today's episode of Thumbnail Theater is written by Richard Hand and is called The Art of Conversation. Excuse me, young lady. Is this seat free? Huh? May I sit down? Sure. Can you move your bag, please? Oh, right. That's better. So, where are you headed? End of the line like me? (laughs) The full five-hour journey or stopping off on the way? I think it's nice to chat on a long journey like this. (laughs) (laughs) What's so funny? Oh, I see. You're on your gadget there. What do you young people do with these things? You all seem to be on them now. Excuse me. Don't touch my phone. Well, f- forgive me, I didn't mean to offend you. I see you've got things to do. <laughs> I miss the art of conversation. <laughs> Sitting next to a stranger on a bus and just talking. <laughs> don't know each other's name and don't need to. <laughs> Passing like ships in the night. Learning about someone's life, you learn something about your own life, too. You see, I'm heading back to where I live now, back to the city, but I used to live near here a long, long time ago. I grew up here, lived here until I was 20, never returned. Thought I'd come back for one last visit. I'm not as young as I look. (laughs) How old do you think I am? Go on, take a guess. Do you mind? Take a guess. What are you talking about? Take a guess how old I am. I am really not interested in how old you are. I'm kind of busy. I am 78 years old. Well, I think I look good for my age. Doesn't staring into that little screen give you a migraine? I don't know who you are or what you want, but could you just stay out of my space? I've got things to do. Is this guy bothering you? No, no. He's just a bit weird, I guess. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll be good and keep myself to myself. Thank you, young man. It's been a trip down memory lane for me. (laughs) Haven't been here in over 50 years. My wife, Peggy, died last year. I miss her very much. I wanted to make a trip back here for both our sakes. We always wanted to come back. It's changed an awful lot, but not everything. You see over there, that that hill in the distance? You can just make it out. We'll lose sight of it soon, the way this bus is moving. (laughs) It's where Peggy and I had our first date. There's a lover's lane there, very secret and naughty. I took her out in my car... An old red Ford convertible. Can you imagine? (laughs) The roof was down and we stared at the stars. The radio was on, playing Peggy Sue by Buddy Holly. And her name really was Peggy. (laughs) If you knew Peggy Sue, then you'd know why I feel blue without Peggy. My Peggy Sue. I plucked up all my courage and said, Peggy, I love you. I was trembling. I was scared. She she took hold of my hand and said, I love you too, and kissed me. All my fears went away and never returned. She had such warmth in her eyes that night, a, a warmth that remained in her eyes whenever she looked at me from then until the day she died. And on the day she died... Last year, she turned to me and and said, Excuse me, I've noticed there's a double seat free over there. I'll move to it and give us both a little more room. Can you stretch out a bit? Got things to do.
You've been listening to The Art of Conversation by Richard Hand, featuring Ron Gephardt and Lauren Doremus Osman. Sound effects by Karen Strawn, produced and directed by Robert Arnold. If you enjoyed that, you'll enjoy our longer shows. Hear them all for free on iTunes and chatterboxtheater.org.